All right, I hope the mic is working and light seems to be decent. I don't really know how to start this, but this is gonna be the first vlog that I ever do. I've been probably doing short format content for maybe like two years, but I feel like it's really hard to give you know, all the value that I wanna give in just eight second reels or something. Um, but at the same time, I don't have too much time in my daily life at the moment. So I thought probably the best and easiest way for me is just to start vlogging my workouts. And by doing so, I can just reflect, tell you guys how I think, what I do, why I train certain things, show you more of my training routines and just basically giving all the nuggets that I, I do have, but just haven't been able to give out. So I definitely hope that's something a lot of people will, will enjoy. It's gonna be extremely raw format, no edits, barely. Maybe if I say something extremely stupid, I might cut it out. But for the most part, it's just gonna be me talking basically to myself, saying everything I reflect and, you know, just in general, giving the tips that I have and everything that I learned over my years of training. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this intro. And um, next up is going to be the gym. I have ring training today. It's a push workout, so I hope that will be something you enjoy. Let's get it. Probably read by the title that I am doing a ring, <laughs> Oof. a ring series. So actually, in January, I started training with rings, and it was basically because I felt stuck in progress. I've been doing the same exercises for a really long time and just, I did get stronger, but not, not as much progress as I would want to. So I switched to rings, training it for a while because it's, it's sort of a progressive overload to change the exercises because the body is not used to it. So for me, this was a big change. And um, so far, so good. I started off barely could do a straddle planche and um, now I would say the level is definitely a bit higher than that. I did maybe like three second hold the other day, which was definitely my best ever. Now the hard part is gonna be getting these ones straight. And uh, have it about here. One thing when you're training with rings, especially if you're gonna use resistance band, is to try to have them on the same spot every time, every workout. Because if you're having them higher up and you're using a band, it's gonna help less. And if you're putting it further down the rings, it's gonna be more help from the resistance bands. So, so try to have these ones on the same level. I think that's good enough. Just trying not to have these ones in the way. And then the band I'm using, since I'm not used to the rings, I'm having a band, I'm not gonna be able to see that. It's gonna be 10 to 30 kg. <laughs> I hope you saw that. I literally just pulled the band through, it, through itself. It's gonna keep it in place. Now, let's do the first set. Aiming for eight repetitions, planche push-ups. Putting on the music because it sort of increased the strength by 100%. said it's always a fucking pain in the ass and it's a hard exercise not gonna lie and I think the biggest change with this one and p-bars is obviously that they are moving a lot so doing a controlled rep 
and at the same time pulling the rings towards you and uh, it's really hard especially in the lockout position as well that's why sort of reps is a bit easier I would say than just doing holds because when you're repping you sort of just touch the top and then you go down again so not too much balance but that was the first set I did eight reps let's do two two more sets and try to do eight reps in those as well all right, I checked the video because I saw that the framing was really off. And when I checked it, it was extremely off. I wasn't even in the, in the frame. So I'm sorry for that first set. Uh, can't redo it. But this time I did frame it good, so now you're actually going to see what I do. So second set of planche push-ups, eight reps. That's the goal. Decent reps, a bit heavier this time, and to keep the, uh, the feet up, I think that's the hardest part. Because I'm really strong in pushing, but I know, my weakness has probably always been holds. So in top hold, I'm just touching and then going down. This exercise though, it's, it's mainly just focusing on the push strengths. Uh, just for the holds, gonna train that later. Uh, I checked the last videos just to see my form. And one thing I do is I am a bit fast with the reps. And preferably in almost all exercises, the slower you do it, the better it is, the more control it is. So this last set is going to be mainly focusing on control, still aiming on eight reps, but trying just to slow it down a bit. Death on impact. I'm glad that was the final set because that was horrible in the end. Did do it way slower, but also stamina is like zero. Next up is the um, normal planche hold in rings. I'm actually going to do it a bit wider than normal planche hold because I do want to activate a bit more Maltese strength. Uh, and the focus here is going to be protraction, getting that one good, and also getting a lot of core connection. So I don't want to see my legs leaning downwards, that's not good form. So good protection, squeeze the glutes, being as straight as possible. If I feel like my form is getting worse, I'm going to go down because it's not going to be worth to hold it. But I'm going to use the same band for this exercise and the goal is going to be here as well, minimum 8 seconds. And if you're wondering how long my resting is between these sets, it's about one and a half to 2 minutes. Let's smash it. It's going to be hard to get three sets with eight seconds in each. Um, the rings are like, they are not forgiving if you're getting tired. They will start shaking like crazy as soon as you're giving it, showing some sort of weakness. <laughs> so might actually take two and a half minutes rest on this one <laughs> just to feel fully recovered. Set number two. Let's put on some screaming music. Usually helps increase the sets by at least two seconds.
oh, one more of these fuckers and uh, then on to the next one this one is like, super hard You're pushing your limits and in the beginning it's pretty fine but as soon as you start to feel a little bit weak start shaking and that's hard to control but that's why also I feel like it's gonna give a lot of progress just by doing this for like one month I feel like my statics especially plunge in normal p-bars uh, has increased a lot both the push and the holes so I don't know I feel like it's getting results maybe other stuff as well but definitely feel connection and it's helping so I'm gonna keep doing it for a at least a month on to the final set there's two quick ways to increase your max hole one is to put on a dope ass music that you like I usually have suicide boys they have some great ones and the second tip is to take off your shirt because that increased like five times the max hold and for the final set now I'm aiming for eight seconds but I'm gonna do a max hold because it's the final one and it's not gonna be like it's 20 seconds because it's damn hard My fear about max holds might be wrong because that was probably not the best one, but it was the final one. I'm happy. Three sets, around eight seconds on all of them, so let's move on. If you thought the other exercises were hard, think again. This one is gonna be brutal. It's straddle planche races or straddle planche press in rings. And um, I still haven't mastered it, so I'm actually just gonna do uh, the press upwards and then gonna go come down and just repeat that. And uh, here I'm aiming for five reps. It's a bit lower than the rest, but it's just, it's just way too damn hard. Uh, and I do think I have a lot of strength, just so unused to the rings that I can't really use it. So therefore, five reps is gonna be the goal. Uh, maybe I feel strong and do better. Most of the times I don't, and uh, it's gonna be less. But we're aiming for five. <coughs> This is horrible. Form and eh, reps, decent. Potential to get way better. Super high. I don't know. Hopefully, I can do five, five sets on this, uh, three sets on this one, five reps on each of them. But we see. <sighs> on to set number two. And uh, this one, I just want to get it over with because it's. Probably the hard, hardest exercise I've ever done. And um, I rewatched the other videos with the first set and I'm not really locking out in the top. And to be honest, it's, it's because I'm a bit scared. Like super uncomfortable with handstand and rings as well. So when it comes to the top part, I'm scared of pushing out because it feels like I'm gonna fall over. But this one, I'm gonna try to push that part as well and see if the reps can be a bit more clean. Hard. <laughs> oh, 
I for forgot to count the last one. Maybe four or five, I don't know. Probably four. That was heavy. <sighs> Final and last set. This one, I'm almost, I wanna get almost a little bit angry because then you get a lit little bit more power and usually a bit better sets. Try to get five explosives once and then I'm done. on the last one not super satisfying but we're gonna get it give it a few more trainings and gonna be wrapping these ones we are done with the rings for today um, in general they felt pretty decent and uh, I usually do a few exercises with them and um, then end the workout with some uh, weighted and that's what I'm gonna do today as well. Because the thing is that with rings and stuff, when it comes to body weight training, it's, it's hard to change the weight of yourself. Yeah, you can choose a stronger resistance band, but still, if you're having a bad day and you feel tired, or if you're getting tired, uh, the form and everything's gonna be worse. So that's why I like to start with the hardest things. And then when it comes to weights, if I feel tired, I can just take a lighter weight and still have that good form. Uh, so that's really why I'm doing it this, this way. So next up is straight arm uh, dumbbell raises. And uh, this is also for planche, strengthening the strength for a straight arm strength. And uh, I'm doing it with 17.5 kg each. Uh, it's a bit towards the higher end. I usually maybe do 15. Uh, so the goal is going to be eight reps three sets. Let's go. If you haven't tried this exercise, I strongly recommend it. I actually started doing it six years ago before I even could do planche as a planche training routine. And ever since then, I've been having it for all, out, all my years, just adding more weights. I think I started at around six, eight, six or eight kg per dumbbell. So we're you know, at least more than double that strength. So if you haven't tried, try it out. Set number two. This one feels good. 
I really like, to be honest, to combine weights and calisthenics training because only doing static holds, you're never gonna get the pump, you're never gonna like, it's another type of feeling when you do reps. Even like, you know, pull-ups, dips, that still counts. Also a nice thing, you get getting pumped up, feels like you're doing something. Just doing static holds, it's gonna give progress, but it's, it's a bit boring. So that's why it's nice to combine it. Also one thing when you do these types of exercises, one mistake I did when I was younger was getting two big weights because you had your ego and then you start doing like a small bend. So you're doing the races with a small bend instead of having them completely straight, making it way easier. But the whole purpose is to train strength, straight arm strength. So you're sort of losing that value if you're cheating yeah, you're gonna get bigger weights, but what's the point? Training to get results. So, that's the tip. On to the third set. Final set of straight arm races, and then it's on to weighted dips. shoulders and dips is gonna be even worse on to the final exercise for today it's gonna be weighted dips and uh, I got myself 50 kg which is pretty a lot and the goal is gonna be to do 10 reps of these and then three sets um, and dips, to be honest, I'm doing it to build a bit more volume. Uh, I'm doing it in the end of the workout, so you gotta have in mind that, it's, you know, my body is tired and everything. So my goal isn't to get super strong in dips. That's not why I'm training it. It's to be beneficial for other things, to you know, strengthen the upper body in general. Uh, and it's hella fun, in my opinion. I love doing weighted dips. All right, let's get first set, ten reps, and uh, see how it feels. Pretty solid. I'm gonna try to do 60 kg on the second set and then might drop to 50 again on the other one because this was a bit too easy. I had a few ones, a few ones in reserve, and we're still at a pretty high rep count. Just got myself another 10 kg, so it's now stacked up with 60 kg. It's a pretty good number. And here as well, I'm gonna go for 10. <laughs> Almost too big, you need to switch it for 20, I think. I'm gonna go for 10 reps on this one as well. Dips, I am pretty damn strong in. You get a lot of strength converted from planche training to dips. And especially since I'm a you know, bigger person, I'm already at 87 kg. The percentage is way less for me than if you're at 60 kg, then this is 100% weight. <laughs> for me, it's maybe 80 something, uh, even less. But right, let's get the second set.
Oof, good one. Feels powerful even if we've done a full planche workout before it. But I'm gonna switch the two tens for another 20 because it's just too much to handle in size. Almost broke the phone. But let's get last set, 60 kg, 10 reps. All right, 10 reps for this one too. to end this session that was some pretty good reps felt super strong 60 kg as well it's pretty good weights for me this is gonna build a lot of one rep max, max strength to be honest I barely never train one rep max you know doing dips with 100 120 kg never do that the only thing I train is you know the 60 is probably the max I usually train and uh, still my one rep max is increasing. That's obviously because I'm training, planes training and stuff as well, but this definitely helps that as well. All right, maybe do some flexing as well, just to end it. Just to end this video, I'm gonna do some small flex. Just not because really I focus on getting huge. That's not why I'm training, it's skill training, but Getting muscles and size is definitely a side effect. Uh, and as a calisthenics athlete, being as lean as possible is usually a benefit because, you know, just doing training with your weight and if you have fat or unnecessary weight, it's just a waste of weight, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, I don't know, getting, a, getting in shape, getting a pretty good body, it's pretty standard for calisthenics athletes, uh, unless the legs. We don't need to talk about those because that's not our, our prime muscles. But otherwise, you know, upper body builds huge strength and a pretty decent body as well. Uh, but yeah, in general, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was definitely a new experience for me. Never done this before. And uh, of course, it's going to take some time for me to get used to talking to the camera like this and just in general, you know, truly be myself. This is probably the most myself I've ever been in any video I've ever posted. Uh, and, you know, I'm pretty proud of that. And um, I hope you see too, and also that you do get some tips from watching these videos or learn something. That's my goal. And uh, yeah, back at it again tomorrow. Tomorrow's push day, uh, pull day, my bad. Pull day, it's going to be in rings as well, front lever training. And I might actually do ice bath after as well. And uh, if I have enough storage on the camera, I'm going to film that too. So something to look forward to. See you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.